I think like the must haves is just the most important thing, like really getting to clarity. Cause you, you can always think of 15 things that you really, really would love. And you can like design the most like unicorn hire. And like, that's easy to do. Like anyone can do that. You go mm -hmm. like to a whiteboard and list all of the perfect things that may or may not exist in a single human. I think where the challenge is, and Jean Denis said four to five, I, I actually used to tell my hiring managers they get three and no more than three must haves is really kind of creating clarity on like what that sort of minimal, most important things are. And I certainly don't mind having like some nice to haves. And I, I think you can round out other parts of the interview process to like other things that you'd love to have. But I think really getting to clarity on what the essence of the role is, um, it's just, like, it's an easy thing to gloss over. And it's the most common mistake I see with, with job kits and when, with like a new hiring manager who's just learning about hiring is just not quite forcing clarity enough. And then I see a lot of people start the interview process. And so they'll start spinning up like the recruiting engine and they'll, you know, give the recruiters like what to go shout out of their megaphones with like what the pitch is. And what happens if you don't really have clarity on what you're looking for is like, you'll still attract candidates into the top of the funnel. Probably you'll interview a ton of candidates. The interview pass rates might be like pretty good for the first interview to the onsite. And then what you'll find is you're just going to be rejecting, you know, 95% of candidates after the onsite and the 5% you do pass through, uh, probably have 17 other offers anyway. And it leads to this really inefficient situation where you're burning out your eng team and the most valuable people on your eng team are typically the ones that you have uh, doing the hiring. And so it can just be like a really sad situation that quickly burns out the entire engineering team. And I think that whole root cause is actually because you don't have clarity on what you're looking for in the job kit.